What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and Ethan wants to hear. Hi! Little man, tell him what today is. Today's Friday Free Day! Woo! Friday Free Day! Friday Free Day! Woo! Woo! Officer, where are we at right now for this special Friday Free Day? We're at the Mini Museum! Da da da! Take that all in. Right now, we're inside our little hall museum of toys this is super cool because what are we about to do right now we're about to open up this big box a big gigantic box from big bad toy store it's very fragile ethan so make sure you're careful with it okay okay <laughs> <laughs> how heavy is this box ethan Let's see. Guys, this is a huge box. I'm not kidding you. It is really heavy. It's got heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Right now, you guys in the comments, put the most craziest thing you think this can be. I think... Look at the size of it. I think it's a car. A brand new car. A brand new car? Yeah. Can you guys top that? Put the most craziest comment you can think of right now. Whatever's in here. We're about to find out. You what if all of a sudden you hear it knock back? Like there's something inside. Here. We're about to find out. It's a mugway. Let's see what's in here. You guys ready to crack this open with us and see what's in here? Ethan has no idea what's in here. I never tell him because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I never tell him what's in here. All right, Ethan. I think you're getting old enough. You're nine years old now. You ready? Nine years. Nine years. Don't run around the house with these. <laughs> Let's see if Ethan can unbox this. That's how to throw them. <laughs> all, <laughs> all of a sudden, he's missing fingers. He's like, I did it, Dad. <laughs> I did my first unboxing. You got like two fingers left. <laughs> Look how he does it. This is why kids need practice at home. Wow, Ethan. <laughs> and you call yourself a professional. I think he needs help, guys. <laughs> and not just with the scissors. Ethan just needs help. Ready? Right here, I'll do it for you. Look. I'm just afraid I'm going to stab. Oh, see how it digs in? I'm afraid I'm going to stab what's inside here. And there's some expensive stuff in here. This box, you ready, Monster? What? Is over 1,000 bajillion dollars. One, Monster, 1,000 dollars. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Ethan knows I'm not kidding, too. That's why he faded. But there's over 1,000 dollars in stuff. All right, I think you can do it. Go ahead, rip it open. I think that's enough. So that should give you guys another hint as of what's in here. You ready? Yes. Cut it! I know I didn't cut it. <laughs> Incredible Hulk. All right, here we go. What could be inside of oh this my goodness, box? It's so much bubble wrap. It's bubble wrap, like always. I always love how big bad guys. You have to check them out. I love how they package everything. <laughs> Even though it says fragile, I feel like I just jump and land on here right now. All right, I think we're gonna see everything all at once. You ready? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, look at all this stuff! Oh, look at all this oh, stuff! Oh, Whoa! Get this out of here! <laughs> is the total on here? Is the total on there? I don't, know, I don't even know if the total's on here. Look at all this stuff! Whoa! <laughs> you threw the flyer? I'm trying to see if the total's on there. Let's see. Oh my gosh! You ready? Yeah. Look at this! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's how much this entire box came to. Almost $1,200. Ah! Ah! All right, let's see if this is worth it. We got, oh man, first up. Oh, one Gogeta from the Broly movie, Figuarts, Dragon Ball figure. And another ah! one. Oh, look at this, two figures. All right, so this is what was super crazy. It was like one per household, monster. How we were able to get to, I have no idea. Maybe because it had some extra in stock. I had my fingers crossed because I wanted one of these so bad just to keep sealed. Because I love the Broly movie. And I wanted one. And then me. Ethan wants one to open. One is going to be completely yours, Ethan. And then this one, see how it has the Broly movie? Look how awesome this is. Oh my gosh, Gogeta was crazy. I love the movie. I Look seriously. How huge the Broly one looks. I oh man, we have to get the Broly. We have to. He, I know he looks ginormous compared to Gogeta. <laughs> I don't even think I can even open this one. Oh, I want to keep it sealed. And then just watch the movie and place it right there next to the TV. Yours is getting open like right after this video, probably, huh? Yeah. So we got two Gogetas, one for me, one for Ethan. Batman. 
Then we got, oh man, guys, I, I sometimes see the stuff, like I saw these at GameStop, and I wanted them so bad, but I already have it on pre-order, and it's so much like convenient when you have it on pre-order. I was like, I'll just wait till it gets shipped to my house, but I did find these at GameStop, and I wanted them so bad then. Didn't we also find them at Walmart oh, as well? Not these. No I, don't, oh. I don't, no, I don't think I've ever seen these at Walmart. They're a scarecrow. Oh, the animated series is so cool. Remember, I was I was showing you all the original episodes? But then the links got all mixed yeah, up. Yeah, the links got all mixed up. We got up to, like, episode... Wait, no, wait. like, halfway. We got, like, halfway through the show, I think. It was, like, 70, episode 70 or something. Two-Face. Oh, man, I was kind of bummed out because they showed him in a stray jacket, like, original prototypes. He was supposed to have, like, a stray jacket. And I was super excited because I had two on pre-order because of that. I was, like, one to keep like this and one to put in the stray jacket. And then when I saw the actual picture, it just showed him like this. So he comes with a a G U N. Can I say it? If I say it, he has dynamite. So you can't say G U N, but you can say dynamite. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. He comes with different hands in there. Two faces, super super cool. Look, I got two two faces, and now this is three face. So I get two times three. I got six faces. <laughs> and then Hardak. Hardak. Oh, do you know who Hardak is, Monster? I don't remember what Hardak even stands for. What? It, it something was, Android. Like, like, didn't, like Mr. Penguin or somebody make the Batman robot or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, he's like a. Yeah, that's exactly what he is. He's a Batman robot. He's I, super powerful. It like I remember. I think Robin had to help him stop him. He was like super crazy. You could put him with that face, which looks pretty crazy, or that face. And look at all his insides. You can see all the Android mechanics going on in there. That is super cool. And he has a sword, a random sword. I don't remember him having a sword in the show. Looks like Ra's al Ghul's sword or something. What do we got next? Grey Ghost. This should be the last one. I think this is the last one. Grey Ghost. So this was like um, the show that Batman used to watch when he was growing up. Bruce Wayne. He loved the Grey Ghost. And look, what is, is that like um, a Blu-ray, a DVD, a lunchbox, a cereal? <laughs> I have no idea. And then he comes with his little, can I say bomb? Comes with his little car bomb. And then what's in there? A pencil? He's got something. So he can sign autographs? I don't know. <laughs> but there's Greg Gross. He looks pretty crazy too. All of these. I'm not kidding. I think I have all of them so far. Yeah, I do. I have all the animated series so far. Um, I don't know how much farther the line is going to go. They've created so many of like the main characters. There's only like a few that I can imagine them even making right, now. Right now we got Gohan. Dude, we have the next newest wave of the dragon ball stars figures and look broly so bro out really everything's on pre-order yeah he's coming out really really soon i have no idea how they're gonna fit broly in this gigantic well this little box a gigantic figure inside of a little box he was a build a figure and now they're gonna squeeze him in here that is crazy because the, the build a figure was the z one so the first wave i'm surprised they got rid of the build a figure i don't know why they did that I don't know why they got rid of it. Maybe some Majin complaints Buu. to keep costs down. I have no idea. Majin Buu looks really cool. I, don't know. I know people still don't like these compared to the fig arts. We're going to do something crazy right now. You'll see. And then but Gogeta. two Gogetas. Because I don't know if I'm going to open this one either. And one for me. And one for you. So I pre-ordered two of these because I didn't know if they were going to cancel our order on the other Gogeta. I didn't know if they were going to cancel it. And I was like, oh, at least we'll get a Gogeta. Look at the difference in the Gogetas. Be honest. Remember, this one is like double the price. So there's this one and this one. This to one, you, which one looks better? This one's more darker on the chest. All right, the shadowing and the shading looks better on this one. They added like a wash to it. Even though that one on the right looks more like a flesh tone. Of course, the one on the right comes with extra hands, has the extra faces, the extra hair piece. This is the cheaper way to go. This His one, sash is longer. This one is more dark. Um, the pants are a lot bigger. The figure just looks bigger in general. The facial expression. So that one does look pretty plain. And this one. You let's can see. Change it. Oh yeah, this one you could kind of see more detail, a little bit more wash like on his eyebrow. This one does look better. It is worth paying double, I guess. Oh. But if this is just this is just as good. It's good. I like it. I like both of them. So, I got one for you. Ta-da! So, you got two Gogetas. 
And I got two Gogetas. We really like Gogeta. Uh oh. Wait till you see what's on the bottom. Okay, so this is mine. Go ahead and take everything out. Take this one out. So we got Gogeta. And then we got Gohan. You're going to see why <laughs> this whole box. Look at the artwork on the side. Gohan. Who do you think is the most rarest one out of this wave? Uh, Broly. I don't know why Gotenks wasn't on pre-order by himself. So I'm thinking it's Gotenks. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Because they didn't put him on pre-order. Ah. Uh, everybody, moment of silence for Stanley. Oh, it's Stan Lee, monster. Oh, I had to get these. I had to get them. I got one to maybe just open up. The box is cool. Look at the artwork on the side. Is that his signature? They got a little squash. So this is the one I probably got to open. And then Stan Lee, I guess, yeah, that is his signature. All gold stamped. Oh, what? They donated in his honor. That is pretty cool. That's pretty good of you, Funko. Good job. But yeah, so I got one to probably um, keep sealed and one to keep open or to open. I don't know. Do a lot of people open Funkos? Not really, huh? Because they look cool in the box. This one's good. This one's good condition. The other one got a little squash. All right. Now, you could pay a little bit extra if you wanted to get super extra protected if you want to. Oh, there. Oh, my goodness. You could hear how heavy they are. We got Broly in the house. Oh man. oh, man. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Super heavy Broly full power. Look at his face. Oh, that face. They should have had him like even that one. His hands are huge. Oh, his fist. Imagine getting hit. Oh, yeah, they are. Imagine getting punched by that. Oh my gosh, they got the little Tamashi Nation quality sticker. I don't know if the bootlegs have that. That's a good question. I don't know if they put that on some of the bootlegs. That's the only thing I was scared of about collecting these figures because there's so many knockoffs. I had a friend who got a knockoff. What do you buy? Was it um? I mean, there's some like different language Krillin. Not Piccolo. Was it Krillin? I don't. I think it was Piccolo. I think he actually he got a fake one. He was so mad. So Big Bad doesn't sell fake toys though, so that's why I trust buying from them. But this Broly, oh look at the detail! And then imagine when the fig, um, the Dragon Stars ones comes out. I think this one's bigger than the Dragon. Stars. Yeah, Stars. there's no way that's this cool. thing is heavy. Oh man, you can feel it right here. The heft is right there, like in his chest area. That is a solid figure. I'm surprised he doesn't need like a stand. That's why they made his feet so big. People were complaining about how big his feet are, but man, he's going to need big feet to stand. You can feel how heavy he is. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, you got one too, Monster? Yeah. So I was so happy about Big Bad. Thank you so much for allowing us to get two. I know it said one per household. Um, Thank you so much. If it's because we do a video on it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we wanted this so, so, so bad. Right, here we go. So I got one to keep sealed, I think. And so... Ethan got one. All right. So, before we get to these, let's go over to this. Da -da -da. So, inside here, I might need your help, Monster, to crack one of these open. They're both the same. Okay, where are the scissors? You don't need scissors, just go ahead and rip it. You guys have to see what this is. This is the first time I've actually picked them up from Big Bad. This is the first time you're actually going to even probably hear about it on the channel, I believe. I really want to show this to you guys. It's been a long time in the waiting. I don't know if you even... You, I, know I think you, I know what it is. This is how they come? I've never seen how they come. <gasps> oh, I do know what it is. Ta-da. This is a new packaging. So, check this out. This is the building 3.0 pop-up for 118 scale. 118 scale is like Marvel Universe. These are 112 scale. So remember, the higher, the lower the number, the bigger they are. 1 to 1 scale is like giant. Then there's one six scale, which is still pretty big, which is what you're about to see in there. Then there's one twelve scale, which is that, and then one eighteen scale is the litter like Marvel Universe three and three quarter inch. So they had these buildings. It was so hard originally to find stuff in scale. So Extreme Sets, that's the name of this company. They started making some of the most amazing. Look at this. It's pop-up for children, but intended, look at that, not a pop-up for children, intended for adult collectors, ages 15 and up. They started making all kinds of buildings, gas stations, elevator stuff, subways, 
uh, docks, loading docks. They have the most coolest stuff that you could use to set up for your figures to display them. And the quality looks really, really good. I have not yet opened one, but the actual owner of the company had sent me a huge package, guys, a while back. It's been a while. Sent me a oh, yeah, huge he, package. He sent like, a, like a whole sewage billion. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. He sent us a ton, a ton of stuff. And I've been meaning to do videos on it. It's when we get into the whole Marvel mode and we start getting into our figures. Definitely, we're going to be using all of these things for our shots, for our pictures, for our uploads, backdrops, uh, review stations, everything coming later in the future. One thing is we need room. I want proper room to do it, proper lighting. I don't want to just throw it out there and kind of like, I don't know. I want it to be super legit content that you guys are going to love to watch. And this is going to just amp it up there. We need another one of these cases because we have no I'm going to use these for this. For exactly the same. This is the same as that one. So we got two of these. I didn't even know they come with like a little slip cover. That's pretty cool. All right, so even though the box is plain, it comes in a regular brown box. So heavy. They weren't that bad. It is heavy. That's what added to the weight too. So we got two of these. Another one of these. All right. I wish I had time to pop it open and I'll show you what it. it all looks like. Check them out though on Instagram. Extreme Sets Inc. You guys should definitely check out all the shots that people do with them. If you like ACBA, you're going to love checking out their Instagram page. They show some of like the most craziest artists in the game. All right, we need skeezers for this. All right, this is where it gets expensive. All of this, I don't even think, comes to the total value of this. Of these two things. These two things right here. So, you guys look around our little mini museum. What do you notice a lot of? Our mini museum is filled with a lot of... Hat toys. <laughs> I want some hot toys, baby, this evening. So a bunch, a bunch of hot toys. It has been a while since I've picked up hot toys. I said I was going to kind of stop just because I had so, so much invested in hot what toys. you see here. Yeah, I kind of said I was going to stop. I remember I promised Mama Collector. I was like, yeah, I guess I'm done collecting. Can't make it. Somebody I like finished it. Like, I'll get Avengers. It. I finished Batman, Iron Man. I was like, okay, I'm done. Um, Man of Steel stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm done. And then the end game stuff started coming out. <laughs> and it was bugging me. Spider-Man came out and a few others. And I was like, oh, it was bugging me. It was bugging me. Then they started showing images of the new Thanos in his um, armor. And then they showed Iron Man. And I knew he was going to come with the gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet. With the Iron Man, the Mark Gauntlet. Or whatever they want to call it. His um, Nano Gauntlet. Nano gauntlet. I knew that was going to come out, and I had to have it. I have the beginning of Iron Man. I need the end of Iron Man. So I went crazy. I was like, that's it. Let's just get... That was the first one you pre-ordered. I don't know if I'm going to get... Um, I have the Hulkbuster on pre-order. The gigantic Hulkbuster. I'm still missing one hot toy. Who? Cap. Do I have them pre-ordered? You do? Yeah. I pre-ordered them from Sideshow. Big Bad was oh. all pre-ordered out by the time I got to it. Like I'm saying, I wasn't going to get them. I wasn't going to get them. I pre-ordered all into the game late. And I was like, oh, let me pre-order. So I pre-ordered a ton of stuff. Remember the, their Big Bad had glitch? Remember it showed Captain America was on pre-order? I was so mad. He was he was available for pre-order. And I clicked it. I was so excited. pre-order sold out. <laughs> pre-order sold out. They tricked me. They tricked me. I'm coming for you, Cap. Definitely Cap. I don't like his pose like that. I don't know why I just put it like that. I basically took him out of the box and just stood him like that. I got to change up some of these poses, which is super cool, which is why I like these better than statues. Look in there. Thor looks weird. I like these so much better than statues because you can always change them up. And then they're not confined to just any kind of base. So you can literally mix them up, just change them up, pose up, them. Just don't mess up the, like, the clothing and stuff. You could like museum pose them or you could like movie pose them. So like kind of like what I do with Hulk. How I put like, that didn't even come with him. The little, um, what Ultron? was it? The Iron Legion? Maybe. Yeah, like the Ultron bot. He didn't even come with that, but yeah, I, I was able to throw it in there. If it was a statue, you wouldn't be able to do that. So I like having the options to right. change it up and make your collection Where feel fresh. So I'm so scared to open this right now. Uh, so I have to make room. That's for sure. I need to make room. The Star Wars stuff, sadly, you can tell it's already starting to get <laughs> taken down. Just do it this way. That way it doesn't show the label. Okay, you're right. Because I know it's hot. Boys. All right, hang on. Give me a moment. Let's go over the box first, and then I'm going to crack it open safely. Okay, I don't want to do it with one hand. Here we got. The one six figure MS four eighty two. So this is number four hundred and eighty two Avengers three. 
Is that what it says? Avengers 3? And then on this one, we got the MS-484. So they're almost the same ones. And then Avengers 3 DS. What is this DS? I don't know. Die, die cast? No, I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to crack these open safely, and then you're going to see what pops out of these hot toy boxes. All right, guys, get ready to witness what it's like to unbox a hot toy. These are super, super expensive collectibles. This one was probably about, I want to say, 275 somewhere around there, plus tax, plus a little bit for shipping. So it comes up to a pretty penny for these. So you ready? Help me, monster. This one's big. This one. Take this box off. We have none other than oh, Doctor Strange Hot Toy. Everyone at home's going crazy, throwing popcorn, throwing their iPad, jumping off the couch, <laughs> jump on the bed. Avengers Infinity War, Doctor Strange. Woo! Yeah, with the Infinity Gauntlet on the side. Woo! And all the creators on the back. Woo! And all the choky labels. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hot Toys probably presents Movie Masterpiece Series. Woo! One six scale collectible figure. Avengers Infinity War. Doctor Strange. Warning. Keep away from kids named Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. We have the Doctor Strange. Should I even open them right now? No. Don't Not yet? Oh, we're gonna you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the next update to see how it looks in the collection. Alright, ready? I'm gonna open it up super safe and sound. Number two. Number two. Who is in number two? Uh oh, yep. it's upside down. It's upside down. Flip around. Who we got? Uh oh. Next up we got upside down. Oh! oh! Iron Spider! Oh, everyone at home goes crazy! Woo! Iron Spider <laughs> from Infinity War. Oh, Man, this guy was sold out. Let me tell you the story. This guy was sold out. I was on the way to pick up Ethan at school, and I had a little bit of time to kill. I remember this. I was waiting outside Ethan's school. There was like five minutes left to pick him up. I decided to go on Big Bad and just look, and someone must have canceled their order because he went back in stock. This guy is sold out. Super sold out, and he's going for a little bit more on eBay. Someone must have canceled it. I was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's time to pick up Ethan. What do I do? So I hurried up and I bought it. This is what started the whole pile of loot. So Big Bad, you can actually make a purchase. Let it sit there in the store and keep piling on a bunch of stuff. We don't buy this all at one time, just so you guys know. We bought this. Then the second thing we bought was like, I don't know, these. And the third thing we bought was those. And then this and this. And then I bought that one. And you just wait. You can wait for up to six months and then just have it all shipped at once. Wait, do they automatically so for people that think I dropped that $1,200 all in one day and then shipped it, you're crazy. I don't think Mama Collector would let me do that. <laughs> wait, wait. If, if it passes six months, do they automatically ship it? Yeah, they automatically keep it. They take your money <laughs> and they run. No, no, they automatically ship it. That's a good question. The box looks exactly the same on the back. And on the side, it has the... I didn't know, realize the similarities between the boxes. They have the Infinity Gauntlet. The back looks similarly, like, really, really the same. But, guys, these boxes alone, like, oh, man, Hot Toys take up so much room because you do not want to throw the box away. It keeps all the accessories. So, you, not only do you need to display your Hot Toys, but imagine all the boxes. That's what I have in storage. The box for the Hall of Armor <laughs> was, like... Half the size of this Batman. It was super crazy. You should have seen the box for the Batman. I threw that away. I ain't keeping that. But guys, what do you think of this haul? Mustard, do you love this stuff? What was your favorite thing we got from the haul? Broly. Broly? What is your guys' favorite thing? What do you want to see the most? Are you excited that one day, one day to the channel, we'll be bringing toy reviews, figure reviews? Because trust me, I have, I would say, a good more than most in toys. And we would love to unbox them, review them, and share our passion four figures with you guys it's just right now we're so busy and caught up with other things it's just on the back burner but it is still there boiling that's does that make sense that makes sense right i think it makes sense one day one day maybe when ethan's a little older you can have your own little channel and help me out you can do that yeah, That'd be, yeah sure all right guys put your comment what was the favorite thing go check out extreme sets go order from big bad Go start collecting hot toys. <laughs> Not yet. You got to save up for those. You're going to have to save up. Or if you have the money to spend, go ahead. Get like one hot toy. My very first hot toy. Mm, should I say it now? Sure. Might as well. I don't even know it. Joker. Wait. That was my very 
first hot toy. But the hot toy, the thing that got me into wanting to collect hot toys was seeing the Hall of Armor. I got in pretty, a little late. They had already made the Hall of Armor. When I saw that, I even told Mama Collector, I told Jennifer, my wife, one day, one day I'm going to own that. And now look, <laughs> that's what happens when you're super passionate, when you love your collection, and when you love to share it with the world and stuff. It just keeps us going, seeing all your guys' comments. So leave your comments down below. What do you think of this stuff? We love it, guys. We hope one day you can share your collection with us as well, and then we can comment on it. Anything you want to say, Monster? Uh, subscribe, like, comment, get big bad stuff, and collect hot toys, get three sets. Go watch the Broly movie. Go watch the movie. <laughs> we love each and every single one of you guys at home. We'll catch you guys in another haul video like this. Bye, everybody. Bye.